Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome back to our class, BAA 3112 Engineering Drawing. Today I will talk about the still talk about the structural drawing, which is part two, and I will discuss about the column detail. Okay, uh, let me first of all uh, let me remind you about our last homework, which you have to Google some informations. And I hope you did it. Okay, about the grade of concrete. Anybody know what is the grade of concrete available in construction industry? Okay, it should be grade 25. 30. Okay, grade 20. Good. Grade 30. Anybody know? 35. Grade 35. Yes. And then grade 40. Grade 40, and uh, also we have uh, 45 and 50 for I mean for heavy heavy structure, heavy work. Yes. Or maybe for high rise buildings. Okay, and then what is the yield strength of steel reinforcement? Anybody know? The yield strength available uh, for design and construction. We label this FY equal to. 15. Sorry? 15, maybe. <laughs> 15. Okay. Uh, the value available is 250 Newton per millimeter square. And then you also, we also have four. 60 Newton per millimeter square. And then we also have 500 Newton per millimeter square. Right? And then uh, how about the standard diameter of steel reinforcement in Malaysia? Anybody know? Six. Six, okay, good. Ten. Eight, okay. And then? 12, 10. 12, 12. 10, okay, 12, good. 16. 16, okay. 20. 20. 20. 24. 24. Maybe you live in other country. It's 25, actually. And then? 30. We have 38. 32. And then, uh, okay. You find yourself. What is other value? Okay. And the unit is in millimeter. And for the, okay, this is the typical, uh, typical diameter you may find uh, in construction. And then what is the standard depth of stump? Anybody know? Depth of stump? 1.2 meter. 1.2 meter. Okay. There's uh, maybe some limit. Okay. Maybe it's uh, 600 mm, two, maybe one. Okay, this is depend depend on the depend on the depend on uh, soil bearing pressure. Okay, you must determine on site. Okay, you have to determine this uh, value on site. Okay, and what is the soil bearing pressure? The range of value for pet footing design. Yeah, for fat pet footing design, anybody know? The range is uh, around uh, seventy-five uh, megapascal to two hundred and fifty megapascal. Okay. This is uh, this this one is soft or hard. When the value increase, the, the soil is softer or harder? Okay, you find your answer, softer or harder. And then the typical spacing of steel shear reinforcement, which is link, available, maybe you can set 75 mm up to 300 mm. Depend 
on code. Uh, depend on design code you you refer. Okay, so this is uh, what I mentioned about. Okay, uh, the type of steel. This is the steel, the strength of steel, the Fy. Okay. If the it marks as Y, mean is the strength is 500 Newton per millimeter square. If, if it's marked as T, the strength is 460 Newton per millimeter square. And if it's marked by R, the strength is uh, 250 Newton per millimeter square. And this one, uh, 75, but uh, depend, depend on the consultant, maybe 75, they will go for okay uh, this is the shape of bar this is the rivet bar uh, mark s y and t you can see the the pattern of the bar and this one is the rounded one Okay, we mark as R and the strength is 250 Newton per millimeter square. Okay, here we go. The column detail, you can see this one in the column layout. Okay, let's say this is the, the, the grid line and then the dimension and then the, the, the column. Okay, in this example, I only have uh, the C1 and the S1. We will take a look later on the meaning and the interpretation of these two columns. Okay, and this is the uh, note, okay, notes for constructions you will find on the drawing, okay, about the dimensions in millimeter, about the grade of concrete, and then about the strength of steel, as well as about the, uh, the lab and the anchorage length. And this, is, this one is the uh, typical uh, section of co column detail. Okay, this one uh, you can see this is the the depth of the stump. Okay, this is the this is the stump. Okay, beneath the ground level, this is the ground floor. This is the ground level, and this one we call as stump, and then uh, upper than ground level we call as the column. All right, uh, this is the uh, column schedule. Okay, we call it as a column schedule. As I mentioned before, we only have uh, the C1 and then the S1. Okay, this is the C1 and then the S1. You can see here that the C1 is from the foundation to ground floor. This is the detail, the, the main bar, the ties and the column size. The column size is similar for all which is 300 times 300 mm this is uh, this mean that okay if you have from here to here this is the level of uh, foundation to ground floor this one okay it should be constructed here from foundation to from top top of foundation to the ground floor and from the gr ground floor to the roof this should be the this should be the detail this is the roof, and this is from the ground foundation, uh, ground floor. This is uh, the, the available column, okay? And no S1 detail from ground floor to the to the roof. Okay, this is the column layout, and this is the 3D view of the building I built uh, by using STEAM software. And this is to show the dimension in grid line A1 here, grid line A2 and grid line A stroke 3. This is it, okay. Means this is the column C1, okay, available from the foundation up to ground level and then from ground level up to the roof, okay, for both uh, A stroke 1 and then A stroke 3, we have both type of column which is the uh, C1. So you have to refer the column schedule and uh, refer the uh, C1 detail. And then this is for S1, is here, which is the, the stump. Means the stump stop at ground 
level. Okay, you can see the difference between the C1. This is the, the, the symbol of C1. Okay, you have a hatch, okay, full hatch here. And then for S1, you have a, a square shape and a X cross here. Means that the this sum is stopped here. Okay, this one eh, stop at this level. Okay, this shall be the, the ground floor level. All right. Okay, this is the column schedule. Okay, this part uh, show you the, the main bar of the column, which is a 4y20. Okay. And the, the main bar is the flat zero, okay, also known as the flat zero reinforcement or the longitudinal bar. And it plays vertically inside the column, which is to resist the bending moment. Okay, if you can see here, this one is the starter bar for the stump. And then another one, this is for, for the uh, upper, upper column, okay, the C1. Yeah, and then they provide the lapping here okay, to, to connect a uh, boost uh, steel bar. And then the reinforcement is, you can see here at the main bar, the reinforcement is 4Y20. Okay, what is the, the meaning of 4Y20? 4 means the number of steel bar. You can see here, the, this, uh, the, 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 the black dot here is the number of steel bar, 1, two, three, and four, and it should be installed symmetrically, okay? If you uh, say the four number of bar, and then you one, two, three, four, number is, the, in terms of number is right, but in terms of arrangement is totally wrong, okay? And then this is Y is uh, showing you the type of steel bar. Also uh, show you the strength as I mentioned before. Okay, the, the yield strength of steel bar. This indicated by this uh, alphabet. And then uh, the 20 means the diameter of the steel bar. So if you have opportunity to go to site, maybe as a resident engineer letter, or maybe you go to internship as uh, as I mean you have opportunity to join internship as maybe a site a young site engineer. You must be able to read the drawing and then you must be able to check either the the workers install the right number of bar, the right uh, type of steel bar, and either the diameter of steel bar installed is right or wrong. Okay, and then uh, another thing is about the ties. Okay, the second part here is the ties. R dash R8 dash 200. Okay, the ties also known as the link or the shear reinforcement. It is placed horizontally inside the column in order to resist the, the shear force. Okay, you see here, this is uh, the, it will place Okay, uh, horizontally as a loop like this one. Uh, this is a uh, loop to cover all the main bar. And then like this one, uh, this one, this is the loop. This loop is the ties. Okay, and then this is the main bar. Okay, and it plays uh, by a specific uh, spacing. All right. So anybody know what does Okay, what is the meaning of R here? Anybody know? Rounded bar. Rounded bar. It, it shows you the, the type of steel bar. Okay, either rounder, okay, the, 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 the type and the, 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 the yield strength. And then, uh, anybody know the meaning of it here? The diameter of the bar. Yes, good. Okay, eight is the diameter of steel bar, and anybody know what is the meaning of two hundred here? Spacing. Yeah. Okay, good. 
Okay, it's the spacing of the steel bar from here to here. It must be 200 mm center to center. Okay, so this is an example of a construction of column. For this one, this is a lab work. So uh, this is the two narrow actually, 50 mm. This is two narrow. And this one, uh, let's say if you want to check the, the 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 size of column okay this is yeah. okay. okay what is the size of column here yeah. anybody know the size of column okay good the size of column yes 200 millimeters okay uh, that's all for this topic thank you very much for your time and for your attention uh, i will see you later for the beam detail all the best assalamualaikum